We're making history today, folks. I'm here on the bridge of the Red Oak Victory, one of only three surviving U.S. World War II victory ships in the United States. We're at the California Maritime Academy, and we've been here for about a month. Why do I say that we're making history? Because during the month that we've been here at Cal Maritime, we have lit off the engines of this victory ship for the first time in 50 years. And this is the first World War II major U.S. vessel to have the engines lit off in at least 30 years. The Red Oak Victory served during World War II in the latter years of the war, 1944 and 1945, and then was turned over to the Maritime Commission after being decommissioned as a Navy vessel and served for an additional 20 years throughout the world as a merchant marine vessel. Hey, how you doing? My name's Greg. I'm the chief engineer on the Red Oak Victory. After 50 years, we finally got the plant running. Uh, five to 15 team members, and they have all different kinds of experience, uh, mechanical, electrical, marine engineers, uh, all doing a really good job. There's a lot of mechanical uh, things that had to be done, electrical. There's a lot of pumps that needed to be overhauled. Uh, there was a lot of welding that needed to be done, um, a lot of boiler work. I spent uh, 25 days myself inside the furnaces rebricking. Ship is in excellent shape. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, activate the ship's steam whistle. So one hiccup, I mean, what do you expect? She hasn't run in 50 years. 